Hello YouTube, this is Charles. Today I've got this HP. It's a 440G3. Uh, it does not power on. A customer called me and actually told me that he wanted a new charger. He thought the problem was in the charger. So I took him another charger and the laptop was still doing the same thing. So when you plug in the charger, this laptop does not even light on. Because this is a standby light. And if the 3 and 5 volts section are fine, this light should light up. So when I measure the charger, it shows 19 volts, which shows that the charger is fine. And so we are going to open it up, try to diagonalize and find where the problem is. Alright, now the cover is out. So let me plug in the charger now and we take some measurements. Still no light. So I get 19. Here where the adapter is plugged in. So I get 19 at the adapter input. However, I don't get 3.3 .3 at the EC. This might mean we might have a problem on the 3.3 circuit and 3.3 circuit seems to be behind. So let me get out this motherboard and then check the circuit behind this motherboard. So I have taken off the wrappers on both sides and I've looked around the motherboard and I don't see anything obvious, I don't see any water damage, I don't see anything burnt. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take out this CMOS battery and try to reset the BIOS. Usually this could also stop a laptop from powering on, but at least the standby light would be lighting up. Anyway, let me take it out and rule it out out of our options so I'll hold this switch for over 30 seconds yeah that's enough so let me plug it again The light does not light up. So let me proceed to measuring some of these voltages. Let me take out this housing to have enough space for me to diagonalize this motherboard. Now, when I plug in this charger, I'm going to first feel if there is anything that is getting warm. It's 
so nothing is getting warm so let me measure if this voltage is able to go through the adapter and reach out to this section where 3.3 and 5 volts is created so let me show you So we are having 19 from the adapter then the first MOSFET does not allow voltage to go through it when I check at the gate the gate has got no voltage so I'm going to check and see do we have any shot at the Motherboard because usually a short can prevent these MOSFETs from turning on. <coughs> so, yes. We seem to have a shot. So we are having a shot at the motherboard, and that's why these MOSFETs are not turning on. So, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to use my power supply to see where this shot is coming from. So I have connected my power supply, the positive on the output and the negative on the ground. So when I put in the power supply, can you feel that sound? That clicking sound is a symbol that the motherboard is consuming more current than it should. Right now I see the voltage is dropped up to 0 0.02 volts and it's currently consuming 23 milliamps. So I'm going to increase a little up to 50 milliamps and let me feel if there is anything getting warm. So since I don't have a, a thermal camera, I'm going to use my fingers and honestly the cheek makes the work so easier. I usually put on my cheek. So let me increase up to one amp. Yes, yes. I've seen a capacitor here that is heating so much. Let me zoom in. These two capacitors here near the BIOS, they are heating up so much. Let me give you a closer look. So these capacitors, this one looks to be broken. And when I put the flux, it melts immediately. One of them is short. And looks to be this one. So let me take him out. So this is it. This is the one that was being shot. You can set the extreme side. Looks like I wanted even to blow up. So after taking it out, let's measure and see if the shot is gone. Yeah, the shoot is gone.
this side is ground the other side there is no shot so let's plug in the charger and see if this blue light will be able to turn on can you see that right now when I measure remember we had 19 here and we did have 19 and uh, after this MOSFET so right now we have 19 so we're having 3.3 and 5 volts here this is a common problem where some people replace this first MOSFET and the laptop continues to not turn on or they replace this and they find out that it's continuing to be hot so usually these MOSFETs are very intelligent if they see a shot ahead they restrict the voltage from going there so let me first put on the thermal paste and put on the other polythens and we can test it in the housing. So let me plug in the charger. I've installed the switch. You see the light comes on. We have the light here. The fan is being stopped. So let's wait and see if we have the display. The fan is spinning fast. Mm. So the laptop has gone on, but we are not having the display. So let me clean on the RAM. Maybe the problem is on RAM. So lights have come on. Let's see if we have that display. No display still. So I have assembled this laptop, we have fixed the power problem, but the display is still challenging. So when I plug in, you see it turns on, the fan spins, but the display does not show up. I've measured on the processor power supply, and there are no volts here on these coils. These are the coils that supply power to the processor. I've checked the processor power supply ice. All the necessary volts are there. The power good signals are there. The turn on enable signals are there. But still, the power supply does not supply voltage to the processor. I've checked the RAM. The RAM turn on signals are there. And the RAM, they are all working. So I want to put on the keyboard and see if there are any 
signals that we can interpret. So this caps lock is flashing and uh, I think let's count this flashing then we can have the clue of what is happening behind. Let's see. So the caps lock and num lock are flashing five times. I'm going to search that on, on the internet and see what the five caps lock and num lock mean. I highly suspect this could be a bias problem. <laughs> 